Hello and welcome back to another one of Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well today. I have got the last beer from my uh, Oktoberfest beers box. It's taken a long time for me to get all these beers reviewed, to be fair, in between brewing, lots of other things. Um, but uh, yeah, I've saved uh, hopefully a good one till last. It's an Oktoberfest Marzen and it's from Hackish 4. Oktoberfest Marzen coming in at 5.8% ABV. Let's have a look at the artwork. There's the Hackers 4 logo, the two axes. Very nice indeed. Um, Bayern, where are these guys based? I'm not sure. 5.8% ABV, 500 ml bottle. And I can't see a word of English on this. Not one, but never mind. Never mind. So yeah, October for Marzen. I don't know where these guys are from in Germany, but um, it's a beautiful looking bottle. And look at it, it's got, it's got a flippy top. Are we ready? Wee! Bish bash bosh. Nice aroma, let's get this into the stein. And it's got, certainly got the look of a traditional Marzen. Slightly darker than some of the other Type of fest beers. Look at that. This is a picture. So we developed a nice head. Let's get the rest of that. So we'll give it a little swell first. Get the rest of that in there. Oh, yep. Looks a picture. I believe that is. We can see it. I do like the artwork. I'll flip that. On top so it doesn't get in the way there we go but there she is there is this oktoberfest marzen it's got beautiful chestnut color to it dark amber decent enough levels of carbonation running up that don't let the camera pick that up you see the carbonation on that might be able to pick it up we've got a one to two finger just off white head on it slightly foamy looking um yeah Looks like a classic Marzen in colour. Let's stick me snout in. See what the aroma is telling us. There's a lovely, slightly sort of caramelly, toffee, sort of wholemeal bread aroma. For the malt, tiny bit of citrus. A little bit of a fruitcake vibe as well. Sultanas, raisins. But well, it's bready. It's fruit bread again. Of a lot of these Oktoberfest beers, they had that fruit cake, fruity bread aroma to all of them, which I absolutely adore. Yeah, I think this is going to be a lovely Marzen. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah. I let this sit out of the fridge for a little while, let it warm up a bit. I figured with it being a Mars and I didn't really want it ice cold. Um, I'm glad I did that. I feel like it's opened it up a little bit. All bready malt, lots of bready malt, sweet bready malt, wholemeal bread, brown bread, slightly honey flavour to it. Bit of dark fruit, I say the sultanas, the raisins. It's got that malt bread flavour to it. Um, I think saurine, I mean, there are probably are other malt loaves available, but saurine is the first thing that comes to mind. Um, yeah, it's a little bit of dark fruit. Oh, it's lovely. It really is nice. Like I say, malt loaf, brown bread, malted sweetness, toffee, caramel. Tiny bit of citrus, just the tiniest bit. Tiniest bit of citrus on it. And you get that more at the back end rather than the front. What I'm left with is a, a slightly citrus bitterness and a combination of that with the, the fruity, malt bready, malty flavour. I'm saying malty a lot. It's 
and with all good German beers, the carbonation level was quite low, making it very, very drinkable. Um, it's a smasher. It's another absolute beautiful beer. Um, I'm actually a little bit upset that this is the last beer from the box. Um, I picked up the box from Trembling Madness, if you've not seen any of the other uh, beers I've reviewed from this box of beers. Um, Oktoberfest is, you know, long gone now. It's the middle of November, but uh, it's um, maybe for next year. Uh, I really would recommend going to tremblingmadness.co.uk and, and checking out their Oktoberfest beer range because I've had some absolute worldies, some absolutely top-class beers from this box. And this is just another, um, like I say, lovely, multi, easy-drinking beer. Like I say, the gentle carbonation that makes it so easy drinking. You can sit there and drink this all afternoon. I'm getting into a lot of trouble. It's another one that really masks the alcohol. 5.8%, you know, you shouldn't mess about. It's not one to be messed about with. You know, you drink a few of these, you're going to feel it. You're going to know about it. But it, it masks it so well. The drinkability of these German beers is extraordinary. Um, they're absolute masters at uh, at what they do. And uh, I think these Oktoberfest beers are just quality, absolute quality, every one of them. Um, yeah, I think the only I've had a couple of Marsons before this one. The one I probably had the most red, you know, regularly is the one that you get in Lidl. Uh, Lidl's Fest Marsen. I think it's called Fest Beer actually. They do it in a they do it half half liter cans. Uh, yeah, around sort of the September, October time. And I've always enjoyed it. Um, but this is that with a bit of oomph. This is that on another level. There's a lot more character from the malt. There's a lot more of a bitterness at the back end to it. Um, but it's very drinkable, like the little one. But to say, there's a lot more going on with this one. Dripping it in my beard. It's lovely. It's smooth, really drinkable. Brown bread, dark fruit, buttery bread, slight honey touch. And the back end of it, it's a very subtle, slightly citrusy bitterness that combines with that buttery, malty, dark bread flavour that you've already got all over your palate. And it's just, it's wonderful. It just makes for an absolutely glorious beer. It's delicious. Um, yeah, I love it. Best miles I've ever had by a mile. And a lovely way to finish what's been an incredible range of beers from that box, um, which I hope you've enjoyed watching because I've reviewed well, most of them, if not all of them. Um, and I thoroughly enjoy doing them. So yeah, tremblingmadness.co.uk, go to them. Um, I'm going to do some more orders with them and get some more German beers because I like my German beers. So Hackish 4 with the Oktoberfest Marsen. It's a lovely beer. It's it's perfect. Lovely, easy drinking, sessionable Marsen. ABV is not sessionable, but the drinkability very much so. Um, I like it enough to give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's absolutely glorious. So uh, there you go. Hackish 4, Oktoberfest Marsen. Uh, maybe pick that one up next year. I don't know if Trembling Madness will be selling it again now. Have a look. Might be worth it. Uh, but 9 out of 10 for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. And uh, until the next one, you take care.